Today, I'm gonna show you how to make pop-up text in Premiere Pro that looks like this. A lot of the big YouTubers use it to catch people's attention right away. They're really useful for YouTube Shorts, and Premiere just added a new way of making this a lot faster. So let's get into it. And I'm gonna show you how to do it by creating the intro that you just watched. So first, what you're gonna wanna do is create a captions track. So go over to Workspaces, Captions and Graphics, go over to the Text tab, and Create Transcription. Now when you create the transcript, make sure to select the correct audio. So I only have the one audio track, but I'm gonna do that anyway. So it'll transcribe the sequence. It may take a little bit longer if you have a longer video. And once it's done, it'll have your transcription right here. We're gonna go over to Create Captions, Preferences, and we're gonna probably wanna turn these down if you want a quick pop-up text. Unless you wanna have full sentences pop up, we're just gonna go kind of word by word or maybe just a couple words at a time. So we're gonna turn this down, minimum duration down to 1.2 seconds. Maximum character length, we'll do 12. See how that looks. We can change it up if we don't like it after. And then single lines, and we should be good to go. So now we're gonna look at our text. Uh, I don't like that today I'm is two different words. I wanna have it today and then I'm going to. So I changed up the text a little bit to have it line up better. But once you have that, you'll notice that you just have this font. All you wanna do is change it to a font you want. So I use Kamika Axis. A lot of big YouTubers use that as well. We're gonna fill that. We're gonna make it yellow. Uh, add a little stroke as well. Uh, we'll make that black um, 20. We're also going to make this 175. See how that looks? Uh, it might be a little big. Let's go 150. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then what you're going to want to do is save this style. So you create a style. I'll just call it Komika text. And so now all of them are going to be that, which is exactly what you want. So the problem is you cannot add transitions or anything to the captions. All you can do is change up in here. You can't go to effect controls and change them in there. So what you can actually do, there is a workaround they just created, is highlight the text, go to graphics and titles, and do upgrade caption to graphic. And once you do that, you will now have this in the graphics. So it's basically text that you can edit how you want. Now, if you don't want to get rid of the captions themselves, all you need to do is add a new track. We'll add a new track, highlight it, hold down Alt, drag it up, make sure it's lined up, and then take this one and make this the graphic. And this will still be there, it'll just be hidden. So now onto animating the text. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is toggle the animation for scale, go down to 50, and then click back up on here, and then we're gonna wanna step three frames, so one, two, three on the right arrow key, make this 110, and then go one more frame over to 100. So it kind of like goes in and then shrinks a tiny bit. It looks a little bit better this way. But you'll notice that it starts up high, goes down, and that's because we need to change the anchor point. So the anchor point is the center right now. All we need to do is go to where it's gonna end up and then drag this down to the center. It doesn't need to be perfect, but just try to align it the best you can. So we've got it right on the center of today, and as you see, it stays in that same spot the whole time. So all you need to do is copy this, so Control C or just copy, zoom out, and highlight everything else you want. Right click, paste attributes. Don't scale the attribute times because then it'll be faster on shorter text and slower on longer text, unless you want it to look like that. And then just check everything else you want checked. So let's go through it, make sure it looks good. There we go. And I only wanted it on this first part. I don't want it on anything else in the video. And then we should be good to go. Now, if you want to change things up, like you want to make them appear a little bit slower, or if you want to go from zero to 100, you can do that. You can also highlight these, right click and have them ease in, and it makes it a little bit more smooth. Uh, so if you want to do that, you can. I'm actually going to do that to my video. I think it might make it look a little bit better. So paste attributes one more time, and then they should all ease in. And that'll make it a little bit smoother, but feel free to play around with it to make it however you want it to look like. So if that helped you out, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more tutorials in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.